Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is being brought to you as a part of the many things that Pointless creates. For our returning listeners, thank you so much for coming back. And if this is your first episode, welcome, get comfortable, and please keep an open mind. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. <laughs> um, <sighs> episode 99, y'all. Episode 99. Uh, what am I grateful for today? It is... Oh, it's officially after midnight. Oops. Um, I'm grateful for the fact that I opted to... Ooh, excuse me. Sorry. (laughs) Damn. I guess I'm tired. I am grateful for the fact that I opted to get tacos from a different spot today. So Tuesdays are for titties, but they're also for tacos and potting. And I... Usually go to the same place for my tacos when I go on my Tuesday tacos. Sometimes I might go to a place in um in the city and get tacos. Um, but I didn't feel like, you know, putting on clothes and whatever. So I went out. Well, no, I did not have this on. I had on like a little bubble jacket. Um, but I went out, got tacos. And it was actually right down the street. I wanted some Bidia tacos. I don't know why. I never... I think I've had it probably once or twice before, but something was like, girl, try that. Get that tonight. Oh my gosh. No one. Excuse me. Sorry. What the hell? Yeah, it's after my bedtime. I don't, did I go to bed late last night? No, I'm gonna, I went to bed at a decent time. Anyways, I'm tired, apparently. Um, my brain is probably just what's tired because I have been running around like a crazy person. I still have a lot to do tomorrow. I but anyways, so yeah, my something good. I went to a new taco spot, got some burrito tacos, and it slapped like it was everything. I needed nothing more. It was done to perfection, like greatness, 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 greatness all around. So that was my something good. Something else happened today. Oh my goodness, yo. Okay, so this is going to be a short episode. <laughs> I'm cutting out some of the stuff that... Because I can't carry on like this. What, what, what? No, man. I'm tired, bud. Like, this is horrible. But anyways, uh, what else happened today? Something else happened today? My mom made it back home safe. Not Jamaica. I, I wish we were going to Jamaica. We... We are. It's coming soon, but that's not where. My mom made it home safe. I'm always, you know, grateful for people in their safe travels. Uh, Speaking of safe travels, hold on there. Yeah, check somebody's location. Make sure it's the people we enjoyed and supposed to there. Oh, no, that's too much. Why do I feel like today is uh, Wednesday? Okay, never mind. Only one person is traveling today. What the hell? I really... Dog, all day today... I've been sitting here like, this hoe ain't tell me she boarded. She ain't tell me nothing. It's tomorrow because we both get to getting it on the same day. Funny enough. But, and yo. The name of this episode is going to be Growth, but it looks like it's going to be named Yawn because, bro, like, come on, man. So anyways. Since we're going to be running through the topic, since I apparently need to run to my bed, I have been participating in a squat challenge. I fell off because last week I decided to do a detox. The detox essentially told me that I need to get my ass up and exercise because there was nothing to detox. Like, I, I'm actually sad about it in a way because, like, I was hoping to do a little quick cheat. But, girl, you're eating well. (laughs) Like, you're eating the right things. (laughs) Like, I've never been so upset to be, like, healthy as far as diet goes. (laughs) Like, I'm so mad. Like, I was expecting to, like, be letting out some stuff. Like, I was expecting to, you know. But, like, my body was like, girl, no. Pee is clear per use. Yeah. Now, there is um, this colon cleanse. That's, like, very aggressive. It works in, like, 30 minutes. Um, For those who are interested, it's literally, like, Himalayan salt, lemon juice, and warm water. I don't remember the measurements, but look it up. It starts working in 30 minutes. I, I That's all I got to say. It starts working in 30 minutes, and you need to stay hydrated. That is, 
If you decide to take the leap and go in that direction, it will move you. It will it will move you, okay? Like I didn't want to do that because I felt like that was just a little bit like Rrr. but um I'm going to Florida. When I get back from Florida, I will probably most likely do that because I what is it? We in what? March, spring has sprung. April, May, June. Yeah, I have three months to do a total body transformation. Girl, I'm not doing <laughs> I be talking shit. I've been saying I'm going to do like the most and get fit by my birthday every year since Wapi Kill Philip. Like I don't, I don't care in real life. I really, I really don't. Like I say I do, but like y'all good enough? Y'all good. Like I'm a little bit intimidated at the idea of what will happen if I were to like be my finest self. Like I'm going to need to hire security. Like I need a bodyguard. You know, like, all right, let me stop. But, <laughs> but no, I do want to get healthier because the whole point is, you know, I'm getting older. Um, and snapping back into shape is not as easy as it used to be. And I'm noticing that. But, like, I need to be able to go up and down stairs. I, it's warming up. I don't even want to talk about it warming up because it was a nice 70 plus degrees for the past couple weeks and then yesterday morning I wake up and it is 40 something degrees and this morning it was 30 what the fuck like it's spring now why are we getting winter weather in spring like why <sighs> anyways I need to get in better shape and I want to go hiking again I want to start back hiking so, um, funny enough, speaking of hiking, um, yard 12, is it 1292? I think it's 1292. The yard ATL queer Caribbean party goers, folks, the, the people that throw the parties that do the things for the people like us. Okay. They had some folks from let's go hiking, which I've been following for a couple years now. I've been wanting to go like, I want to. I got social anxiety. Like, if you saw me at that party, I was in a corner or at the bar or in a corner because <laughs> I went by myself again. And, yeah, so, you know, but it, it's me trying not to yawn. That's the most annoying thing <laughs> about this. Like, oh, my gosh, why <laughs> am I so tired? Oh my goodness. Anyways, so yeah, they had some folks from the um, Let's Go Hiking um, Instagram group. Um, if those of you who don't know who are in the Atlanta, Georgia area, they, it's a woman, uh, the, the, the uh, words, a group of women, lesbians, bisexual, et cetera, et cetera. It's not exclusively that. Um, queer and queer friendly women who are hiking it's a group and they go hiking they have a meetup point they go hiking and it looks like a vibe I thought it was like I low-key had like a mini fangirl moment when um June shouted them out I was like oh my god that's so cool but you know composure um but yeah so I've been wanting to go and I'm not gonna say I'm going to because like I said I <laughs> The, the, the groups be big. It, I mean, for safety reasons and, you know, for camaraderie and, you know, whatever, it's great. But that's a lot of people. So we'll see if I decide to, you know, if, if someone I know is willing to go with me, because then I'm going to be awkward and be like, oh, my God, I'm not going to talk to anybody. I'm going to be by myself. Yes, I know. I act like I'm still in kindergarten. Like, do you want to be my friend? But, yeah, I was stoked about that, and I'm looking forward to going hiking a lot more this summer than I did last summer and you know because I like doing outdoor stuff like I am not a gym girl I am not the type to be like oh let's go on a treadmill let's go lift heavy like no I would rather go outside and go hiking walking bicycle riding go play some football the one that you use your feet for not the other one um you know stuff like that like before I grew boobs I used to play basketball like <laughs> you know I like active stuff I just don't I really do not like the gym like I have I hate the gym <laughs> I really hate the gym I honestly would rather run up and down the stairs in the hallway 
than go on a stairmaster. I don't know something about it. I just I feel like a hamster on the wheel. I just don't like it. There is though a rock climbing wall thingy that I saw online that I might be okay with because it's like an actual wall and it just like scales like as you know it's like it looks cool. But yeah, how did I get here? Oh yeah, trying to get healthier, eat better so that well not eat better but exercise, getting active. I mean I stretch, but I need to like you know get the cardio so like you know stamina, stamina, daddy for the y'all thickening. Um. <laughs> but just in in general, you know, like carnivals here, and yeah, I might want to be on somebody's road, walking up. So yeah, things that you know I need to prioritize, and you know, I'm like I said, it's a milestone birthday coming up, so I'm trying to make sure I can drop it down low, pick it up slow, turn around, poke it out. How the song go? Poke it out like a back broke. Pop, pop, pop that thing. Yeah, that. All right. So into um, not as light news. Well, actually, eh, it's not too bad. Um, About 95, was it about or approximate? Is it exactly? I don't know. But it says 95 Haitians were intercepted by um, officers of Turks and Caicos. Um, what is it? Their police force or whatever brought in for processing, et cetera, et cetera. Cause you know, the man over there is eating human beings. I just, yeah. So they're, they're trying to get, get the hell out of there. Some more than others, but the ones that are, they ended up in different places. That's the only news I've seen. There might be more, but there, that's the only news I've seen about, you know, the actual migration. Um, I've seen reports where people like countries are saying they're open to it or not or whatever, but I haven't seen, and if you've seen many, kudos to you, you're following the right people. Um, but I have not seen anything. This is my first sighting of, you know, an actual departure, interception, et cetera, of the people of Haiti with everything that's going on currently. Um, I just want everybody to be safe, you know? I just want people to be safe. I want people to be okay. <sighs> yeah. Last week, oh, God, I didn't even talk about it on the episode before, but last week was the final say-so, essentially, in the cartel appeal, and <sighs> it amazes me how many people one, don't think, don't think at all, just, just, just run with whatever the internet says, or I, I don't know where the thought is coming from that the result of the appeal would mean immediate release of Vibes Cartel, but I am so sorry that y'all thought that because it's a whole process. There's a whole process. From what I got with my little bit of, um, my my little bit of sense and my little bit of studies. Um, basically, UK was like, yeah, that's cute and all. Jamaica, you fucked up. This case was nigger rigged. Um, we're not we're not making a decision on anything. Uh, y'all got to decide if y'all want to retry him or not. So he's going to have to sit until they decide. And once a decision is made, then whatever proceedings are going to take place is what will determine whether or not he will be set free. That's all I'm going to say about that. Because apparently we have goat mode, so I'm just going to leave that there. And yeah, we are hoping for everyone to be safe. That's all I got. I just want everybody to be safe. <laughs> like, that's it. Um, speaking of not so safe things, though, I saw this post earlier and... Whew, it sparked some conversation on the timeline. Um, there was a young lady and her twin sister who were approached by some fuckhead and they rejected him in the sense that he wanted their phone number and he said, I mean, they said no and they got stabbed. One sister, one twin, I'm going to be specific here, one twin did not survive, and the other twin is in the hospital. 
This man is out on the loose. I'm not sure if they have captured him since this post was made, but yeah, I feel like it's really shitty that you can't even just exist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, as a woman, you can't even just exist and be safe. Like, it's... it's, it's... Nah, the episode's going to be called Be Safe. <laughs> because we didn't even get to the part about my growth, and that's going to be a blip compared to everything else that we've discussed so far. But it's... It's really sad. And the first thing I thought of was, yo, her sis, her twin, her twin, they were in a situation together and she survived and her twin did not. The mental toll that she could possibly like take on because of this. And they're what, 19, I believe? Young little girl, pitting at them. Like... I'm not going to say Pitney or not adult, but still, like, 19. Y'all can't even buy liquor legally. Like, y'all can't gamble in certain states. Can y'all buy cigarettes? They, they moved the cigarette age to 21, right? Like, <sighs> at 19, never, right? I believe they're 19. But even, regardless of the age, like, that's that's so fucked up, bro, like. People are really unhinged. Like, really, really, really unhinged. Like, I'm afraid on it. I'm afraid on bad. Like, people are like, oh, you don't go nowhere. You're a homebody. Yes, I'm a homebody. But also, I don't want to be approached <laughs> by psychopaths. Like, I don't want to be approached by psychopaths, sociopaths, I narcissists. I don't want to be approached by you unstable fucktards. Like, I do not want to be approached by y'all. That's half the reason I dress like this. Because I don't want to be approached by y'all. Like, and y'all still fucking approach me. <laughs> like, y'all are unhinged as fuck, unstable as fuck, like, entitled as fuck. <sighs> and I... <laughs> Someone said, um, someone um, reposted it and was like, this is why I always give out my number when they ask. And like, yes, also. And way, 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 way back in the day, I used to give out a fake number, but niggas started calling on the spot. So I got a little text now number and I was giving that number out because, and I kept that number for years. Like that was my little, you know, if I wanted to be a little psychopath myself and somebody wanted to block me, I wanted to be childish. Like, so you finna block me? That's how you feel? Like, just tell me. And I'm never going to talk to you again. Like, that's it. Because I, I do have some, you know, some placements and things that <laughs> contribute to a little toxicity here and there. But, um, but yeah, like, you know, a little text now number. And sometimes I've, like, I've, like, the number has changed since. So I don't remember the number that I use. So sometimes I have given out my actual number. But in that case, I just don't answer or whatever. Like, if you want to go through the hassle of being, like, a true psychopath, my safest bet is that. And I've never been in a situation where, like, I'm not even going to put that out there. But anyways, I just, I'm grateful that I've made it this far. And I would like to make it to double this age and then some in good health and with the, the little bit of sanity that I have currently. Um, I just, you know, rest in peace to her and to everybody else who has fallen victim to the hands of an unhinged man. Um, unhinged people in general, just, that's, uh, we live in such a fucked up world, man. Like, I don't like it. Just let me off and let me go to like <laughs> Uranus. <laughs> but <laughs> like, I just, ugh, I just want people to be better. I want people to be better. Um, what else? Well, I touched on it a little bit, but I, I don't know. Have you guys ever done your attachment style quiz? I like to do these personality quizzes and relationship styles and things like that quizzes because I like to learn stuff about myself and I like for the people around me to be aware of themselves in that way too so that, you know, if change needs to be made, they can, 
make those changes if they so see fit. I'm not here to bully nobody or coerce you into changing to be a better person. But if I'm working on me and you're not, we kind of won't have much to discuss if we're being honest. Um, so the other day I retook the attachment style quiz and I was genuinely surprised at my results because this whole time I'm like, you know, young, toxic nigga, woo. No, I've grown. I've been doing the work because the last time I took that, was that early last year? Or maybe the end of the year before, 2022 maybe. Um, I took the quiz and my results were, ooh, I had a screenshot of it and I thought I saved it. I guess I didn't. Hold on, hold on. Where is it? I saw much something with Putina. Jesus, me and, listen, me and this little chonga, we be, we be communicating. Oh, there it is. Okay, so when I first took it, it said that my attachment style was a disorganized slash fearful avoidant. Valid. I can definitely see how that, you know, that was, <laughs> that was the thing. Um, essentially, I'm leaving before you leave. <laughs> like, any little thing and I'm ready to go. Like, I'll be quick to be like, so we gonna break up? Like, that's what we doing? Like, let me know. We it's a dub? All right, cool. Like, I just said that two seconds ago. <laughs> but I retook it. I actually took it twice, two different platforms, and they both said I have a secure attachment style now. So, yay. Go me. Um, I, like I said, was genuinely surprised, genuinely, su genuinely surprised at the results because I was like, girl, are we growing? Like, are we doing the work to make sure that we are not, you know, self-sabotaging first and foremost? Like, look at you. Oh, great. You know, journaling and, you know, continuing to drink water and eat our fruits and stretching and making sure we unpack things that <laughs> we have held on to or compartmentalized and avoided. Because if you don't address it, you cannot change it. So, yeah, I'm just, you know, a little pat on my back, a little, little, little self-praise, a little acknowledgement, a little woo-woo, because shout out to me for doing the work. I was like, mm, changing your own mentality. Look at that. Say you can't teach your old dog new tricks. <laughs> I almost barked. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. I need to go to sleep. I'm getting delirious. Um, One last thing before I go. <sighs> We know that sense is not common, right? But, but I don't like seeing on a platform as vast as Twitter, X, whatever the fuck you want to call the shit, that people in America navigate and respond as though America is the only place that has people currency things <laughs> like there have been a few posts over the past week that have made me go like when I have sense like when I have like honestly to God like when I have sense when I stop on anything before and the response to the see like just when I have sense because somebody made a post um young ladies promoting an organizer and it was five thousand dollars first of all you hear the accent she's not American um but somebody was like, oh, $5,000 for a da 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 whatever. Yo, our man reel up then clout and say, yeah, sell pum pum for what? $9.99. <laughs> and y'all worry about $35. Yo, kill me dead. Yeah, I say your man's supposed to take up for you. I like them the fucker there. But yeah, it was like, why would an organizer be 5000 United States of American dollars? Please. Does that make sense? And I feel like a lot of this like response shit too it's like they're baiting, like they're baiting engagement. I just, like you never know what's real anymore on the internet. So you just have to laugh and scroll because half of the people on there are literally like seeking engagement. Like they're engagement baiting. Like you're you're saying dumb shit to get a reaction and look at me giving you the fucking reaction. Like... But then on the other hand, it's like, are y'all, y'all could, y'all could really be this dumb. Like one I saw that was a little bit funny, but at the same time was kind of like, come on now. Like the girl is asking for help. 
Shreddy was asking about, I think it was like a hairstylist or something in GTA. I did not know what GTA was. I obviously thought it was like GTA. Grand Theft Auto? Eh. But I was like, okay, that does not make sense. What does GTA stand for? And me with my fast self, go look and I learned that it's Greater Toronto Area. Look at me learning things instead of just talking out my ass and just putting shit on the internet just because, you know, small minds do small things. But the amount of people are like, how the fuck am I supposed to know that? Like, you're literally on a plat Dog, the way technology has advanced, you can literally highlight something and press look up on the iPhone. A little thing pops up at the bottom, and it'll tell you a brief little summary, suggestions, etc. And you could click search web, and it'll take you to a whole Safari or whatever your browser is and tell you X, Y, Z about this thing. Like, you don't even have to do much. Two clicks. Three, maybe. And you have the answer. Like, it's lazy, it's dunce, and it's annoying. Like, I don't like it. Um, the other one was something about a $2.5, $2.6 million date. Whatever. I don't know. I just feel like Americans live in a bubble. And on one hand, ignorance truly is bliss. But I just... <sighs> I want you to just be honest with yourselves. <laughs> like, please. I, I am I'm begging because in all my years of being on that platform, I have never been, like, so <laughs> annoyed with, like, people. I'm literally, I'm going to start muting words and things because I don't, I typically don't have anything muted or blocked. I'm about to, to do a next level self-preservation and like maintaining my peace and just start blocking accounts left and right and just muting words because it's 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 time that's that's exactly what that is it's time anyways speaking of it's time it's time for me to wrap this up thank you so much for you know sitting here through me ranting it should be called pointless rants like the snapchat episodes back in the day if you know you know um what I got to say to y'all. Next episode is 100, man. It's 100. Full bomba clot 100. Like, full 100. But frightened still doing it. Look a bit nervous. Like, whoa, we have reached. We reach 100. Triple digit. Oy, oy. Um, Still don't know what I'm doing. I've gotten some suggestions. I feel like some of the suggestions are a little cliche. Like, a few people said the same thing. And I'm like, I guess if that's what y'all want. I guess. But um, we'll see. I'm going to work something out. I'm going to figure something out. And we'll see what I come up with. <laughs> um, but yeah, just like everything else here. Oh, no. What am I saying? Subscribe to YouTube. That's all I got for you. Fuck all them other channels. Don't follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. Subscribe on YouTube. I don't care about you streaming on any other platforms. Subscribe on YouTube. Turn on post notifications. Watch all these videos, watch the unmoldings, watch the unboxings, watch all of that shit. That's all I got for you. YouTube. That's all it there. Um, but yeah, just like everything else we do, Pointless Talks, Pointless Creates, whether you got here on purpose or by fate. Thank you so, so much for watching this 99 Bumbleclot episode of the Pointless Talks podcast. Bye. <laughs>